Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to discuss the common clinical features of chronic liver disease and cirrhosis. Cirrhosis is a slowly progressive disease where normal liver tissue is replaced by scar tissue. Let's start by reviewing some of the causes of liver cirrhosis. The commonest cause of liver cirrhosis varies depending on where you live in the world, but generally include alcoholic liver disease, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis or fatty liver disease, and chronic viral B and C hepatitis. There are many less common causes of cirrhosis, some of which are mentioned here. We will now discuss the common clinical features of liver cirrhosis. These can be split into those directly related to liver damage from the scar tissue changes and into those related to portal hypertension caused by the interruption of normal portal circulation blood flow. Check out our video on portal hypertension for a more detailed discussion on this. This video explains the following clinical features of portal hypertension. Ascites, spinomegaly and its effect on the blood cells in the body, varices, hepatopulmonary syndrome and hepatorenal syndrome, both thought to be related to the portal hypertension associated release of vasodilatory mediators. In regards to the clinical features of cirrhosis relatable to direct liver damage, jaundice or the yellow discoloration of the skin and sclera is due to the interruption of normal bile flow within the liver due to scar tissue formation. Liver cell damage, regeneration and fibrosis or scar tissue formation leads to an uncontrolled liver cell proliferation which increases the risk of liver cancer or hepatocellular carcinoma. Other common features are palmar erythema or redness involving the palms of the hands. Spider nevi which are typically seen in the upper chest in the distribution of the superior vena cava and are due to a proliferation of blood vessels in the skin. They consist of a central red area representing a spider's body with outstretching visible capillaries which represent a spider's legs. Also gynecomastia, which is the non-cancerous enlargement of male breast tissue. And male hypogonadism, which can present itself clinically by impotence or erectile dysfunction, infertility, a loss of sex drive and testicular atrophy or shrinkage. All of these features are thought to result from alterations in sex hormone metabolism, namely excessive estrogen levels due to poor liver function. The two final clinical features of cirrhosis worth mentioning result from a combination of liver damage and portal hypertension. Hepatic encephalopathy, cirrhotic cardiomyopathy or impaired heart function related to liver disease. Watch our video on hepatic encephalopathy for more on this topic. That brings us to the end of this tutorial, so from me this is goodbye. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other videos. Feel free to leave requests in the comment sections for other